Yo guys, what is up? Dave here with episode 7 of the uh, Auto Legends Deep Dive series. Now, I thought I was going to build a 400 horsepower Civic. Apparently it maxes out at 316 right now, but that's not a big deal whatsoever. So, let's get into tuning. What can you do for tuning in this game and, you know, what might change in the future? Because, keep in mind that this is a very early alpha stage of the game. We are not seeing what pretty much probably any of the re end result is. This is more just like the skeleton of what could be. And I'm really excited to see what this game might have in the future. But let's get into tuning because tuning is a big part of this game. And I'm hoping that they add a lot more options for it. So first of all, tuning right now is... Ooh, why is my camera so weird? Tuning right now is very limited. You can do your gear ratios and you can do your stance. Tires is grayed out, but what I'm assuming we'll be able to do with tires is tire pressure or different styles of grip. Now, I want to start with stance because I want to get this out of the way. At the moment, it's not fully applied. So if I went to the racetrack right now, I'd run the same time whether I have this crazy camber or not. In the future, all of this will probably matter for those that take racing really hardcore seriously. Jesus Christ. I wonder if you could hear that through the microphone. I'll have to listen back to this video. Holy crap. This is one of the loudest cars I've ever heard in the neighborhood. Anyway, so if you're building a rear wheel drive car, let's talk about the RX-7. You want to take this ride height and crank it. This is only currently. Do not take this advice, you know, future on in the, you know, when the game is done or whatever. This is only during this alpha stage. Rear wheel drive, crank it to the max. Front wheel drive, drop it. All-wheel drive, somewhere in the middle, like 8-ish, is probably perfect for drag racing. I'm going to do this as kind of a realistic build. I don't want to sit here and like, oh, it's fastest at 2. Like, I don't care. But this is a front-wheel drive car, so we're going to, you know, the rear a little bit higher than the front. I'm going to get rid of the camber. I'm going to still put a spacer on it. The rim diameter does not need to be that big. Whoop need to be that big we're gonna go 17 i actually we'll go 16 on the back rim width you want it actually the smallest here tire stretch i'm still gonna put some meat on it tire sidewall we'll leave some meat on it front wheels you want to put some meat on them bones you want to tire stretch them to the max that wheel width we'll still put Ooh, does not follow very well uh It does not like that. <laughs> we'll leave the wheel width at like six. Actually, no, you do want it max. Diameter of the wheel will go uh, 16. Spacer, I do want to have the spacer. Amber, get rid of it. And let's actually raise the ride height because of the tire. Tire sidewall, we can make it a little smaller. It's just a Honda. <laughs> And then the back will raise it a little bit more. Because I want to. So that's tuning visually. Now let's go into gear ratios. The gear ratio tuning is exactly kind of what you expect it to be. It's basically just moving a slider back and forth and finding your perfect numbers is the way that we're doing this here. So let's say I want a final drive of perfect number exists. It's 69. So 4.69. I want my first gear, though, to be pretty quick. I kind of want numbers underneath all these lines, not just like 85 in the middle and 179 way out here, because I don't know exactly what mile an hour this line is. I have to kind of figure it out. So we're going to do that. We're going to do really short second gear, I think. Actually, no, we'll leave it about here. Third gear, we will shorten up a ton. Fourth gear, we'll shorten up a bit. And fifth gear will shorten up a bit. And there you go. So that's basically your gear ratio editing. Now, the nice thing about the part shop is there is a test drive functionality. So you can just edit your gears, go to the test track, and test your car right away. You don't do burnouts on the test track, um, but I know that is something they can toggle on and off. So I think it would be better if they had the burnouts and all that, just like for peak racing mode or in an 
ability to like say, hey, I do want this enabled on the test track. So it's the same as me racing at this place versus that place. Because, you know, there might be different conditions as well. Like on Sixth Street Bridge, there's this weird little hump at the end of the racetrack, which everybody does actually really like, that could make you a little bit faster. So we're going to rev up. You do launch it yourself here. Nitrous in the beta right now is a little bit broken. It doesn't work. But other than that, for a first try on gear ratios and stuff, that was not bad. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip that only applies during this beta or this alpha testing. This will be fixed at a later date, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip. If you want to save weight on your car and make it faster, after you are settled with your gear ratios, like I'm going to make one final little adjustment uh, to my final drive, despite the memes. I'm going to take it down a little bit, extend the gears out. The thing you want to do during this alpha testing right now is go in and take your transmission, put it to the first one after you edit your gear ratios, and then do the same with differential. Make it the first one. Confirm, check out, install them. And then go back to the test track. I guarantee you, you will be faster. But that's only during this alpha stage. It does save your gear ratios. It saves your stance tuning. It saves your final drive. You are all good in the hood. So anyway, let's see how this thing revs out now. I bet you it's still just as fun. There is nitrous purge, which is sick. What was it, like here? All right. Nitrous, again, doesn't do anything, but good to develop the habit. Fourth and fifth. And see, edited the ratios perfectly. Awesome. Oh, there is a grill in there. Okay. So I went 12.44 for my quarter mile. And you can expand it, see your 60 foots and all that. So the tuning can be done a little bit better and a little bit more in detail. Now, like I said, just for showing it off and explaining it, during the alpha testing right now, if you want to stay competitive, if you're a front-wheel drive car, slam it to the ground. If you are a rear-wheel drive car, raise it to the max. If you're all-wheel drive, uh, just put it to somewhere in the middle. It's kind of how it's working out right now. But again, that'll all be fixed. That'll all be changed in the future, and I'm sure it'll be fine. So let's do one more race here just to show the difference and show like the slammed car life because, you know, I live this in my Honda Civic in real life. I can live it in the game. So it's what, like 77? I want to get that rev to be the same just so like we have the accurate race time. Go. Let's go. All right. Good, good. And... When do we cross the line? It should be better than a 12.4 or about equal. There we go. I told you, 0.1 difference. I Being slammed to the ground, I went 0.1 faster. How crazy is that? So that's tuning and test driving your performance setup on at Speed Lab. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll show the dyno real quick. Click. Thank you. The dyno right now doesn't do much, and it's a little bit broken, especially because some of the cars are a little bit broken. So take this with a grain of salt, and this is all, again, going to change later. But as of right now, that's tuning in a nutshell. You know, right here, you set up your full performance kit, you do your visuals, you do your tuning, and then you go racing. So I'll talk to you guys later in the future video. Peace.